This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. And today we are completing our series of Lenten lunchtime lessons, where we have been looking at a series of meditations about the renewal of the church through mission and ministry, written in 1952 by the late Bishop of Michigan, Richard Emmerich. But first, let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide, we beseech thee, the nations of the world into the way of justice and truth, and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness, that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now, Bishop Emmerich. Because this is a big world and a big country, the word of God becomes articulate only through the body of the church. You alone cannot influence your community, and your parish alone influence the country, or the Episcopal Church alone influence the world. We need, therefore, to cultivate a sense of the great church if our freedom as parishes and dioceses is not to lose its greatness, and we are not to go down in corporate egoisms. Each church has the right to live only in virtue of the contribution it makes to the great church. When we consider God's will for our world, how our lives are completed in the fellowship to which we belong, how the work of Christ can only be carried on by the body and not by the individual, we know that a Christian enriched by the body should become a great individual, but he cannot be a Christian and individualistic. We are engaged in warfare, and warfare needs an army. An army acts corporately, under a head, and can always put a rabble to rout. This is the great fellowship to which we will to belong, and in, in which each man takes his part. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all. And we are joined in the mightiest fellowship of earth by what we share. Amen.